Praise the Lord, precious saints, and welcome to another daily prophetic utterance to start your day. The Lord is saying today, my child, when life becomes difficult and too much to bear, you need to know that I am always ever present in your times of trouble. When life is difficult, unpredictable, and even painful, I am always present, for I am your refuge, I am your strength, a very present help in time of need. Therefore, whom shall you fear when I am by your side? See, my child, it doesn't matter if the whole world is in turmoil. The earth may quake, the oceans may swell, the mountains may crumble into the sea. Things may be in complete chaos and a total uproar all around you. But because of my promises, you can be still and still have my peace like a river. While all the nations rage, powerful streams of joy will flow to your heart. Yes, I am your joy and my joy is your strength and your heart will be filled with gladness. Even though many hearts around you have grown cold and fearful, and though the enemy may remind you of your personal troubles and even the past sufferings, I am still in the midst of it all. Yes, I am in your midst. I am with you through it all, my child, and you will not be destroyed or moved. I make myself available to you any time, day or night. I am continually at your right hand, willing to speak to you and guide you. I will make this possible by the gift of my spirit to abide in you. Yet at times you doubt my closeness and think that I have forgotten your petitions and pleas. But I am ever present in every season and I know all the deep needs and troubles that you have and that you are going through. I know all the turmoils. I know all the temptations, the times of confusion that even cause your soul to be troubled. See, Satan and his rulers will come after you with accusations, hindrances, lies to try to flood your thoughts, and you will be tempted, persecuted, and even interrupted at times, my child. But I am still in control, my child, and I am sovereign over the enemy. See, you must know it's all a conspiracy of evil aim straight at your faith to get you to give up and come off the path that I have laid for you. So do not give in to fear any longer, my child, and do not become downcast or full of despair, for I am with you to comfort you. So give all your worries and cares to me today, for I care about you. Yes, give everything to me today, because you are not in control anymore. For it is so easy for you to become so consumed with all that is consuming you. My child, put your worries and give them to me. Yes, put all your worries into my hands of that person, of that circumstance. And whatever is troubling you today, put it all in my hands and let me have it. For when you hold on to the reins of your own life, you are living contrary to my ever-present reality within your life. Watch that burden today, being released into my hands, and have faith in me that I have all under control. For when you put your trust in me, you will find a peace that makes no sense to this world's understanding. Yes, for my peace, which transcends all understanding, it will guide your heart and your mind to be one with my word. For when you trust me, unexpected opportunities will even come your way. So even when you look at your circumstance today with your natural eyes, it may seem impossible, but with me, the unthinkable, 
unthinkable can happen. Therefore, do not go by sight, but go by faith. For my strength, for my power and my love can do a lot more than whatever you can accomplish in your own strength, my child. So remember, when life becomes difficult, do the best thing and give it over to me. Place it in my hands as I will fight your battles and you can hold your peace. Know that I am with you. Know that I am for you. Be at peace this day, my child. Shalom. Praise the Lord, precious saints. The Bible says, according to Psalm 46, verse 1 to 3, God is our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam and the mountains quake with their surging. See, the Bible says that God is our ever-present help in times of need. He is the one that you can run to and ask for help anytime, any day, anywhere you might be, and for any purpose you might need him for. That's right. Are you in need of God's help right now, precious saints? Because he is more than able. He is more than able to turn your situation around, no matter what the enemy is pressing at you today. Imagine this. King Saul was singing songs of deliverance in Psalm 10 and also in Psalm 18. He was praising God not only for protection in the midst of his troubles, but also for the intervention of God in his external affairs. He was being delivered from the hand of King Saul. So whatever you are facing today, whatever you are facing with inside of you, any internal and turmoil or whatever is happening externally, God is able and he can swiftly control not only our troubled hearts, but also our troubled world, whatever and however he wills. God is in control. He is sovereign, precious saints. There is no wind that will blow upon you. That is not the His winds of His will when we yield ourselves to Him each day. No matter what the enemy is trying to throw at you today, attack you with today, know that He is still in control and everything is going to work out for our good and His glory. Remember, God is reminding us that He is present, that He is slow to anger, that He is swift to hear, and he is sure to bless us precious saints let us listen to the still small voice of god today whatever you are passing through and for those that partook of the fasting god is taking care of your requests just continue to press in him and surrender your burdens to him daily let us pray now precious saints father you can count the stars and call them all by name your power is absolute. Yes, your understanding is beyond our comprehension. You support the humble and bring the wicked down into the dust. You comfort those who mourn. We declare all those that are going through a difficult time right now, Lord, that you would turn their mourning into dancing today. Lord, I pray that you will turn their situation around. You will give them beauty for their ashes. We confess that you are our rock. You are our fortress, a savior in whom we will find protection. You are our shield and the strength of our salvation. Father, you are our stronghold. As we call upon you, you have promised to answer us. And we believe that you will be with us during every period of troubled time. And you will rescue us from all of our troubles. Lord, I pray that you would honor each person today and give them your salvation. Father, thank you for sending us your son, Jesus Christ, who is our king, who came to die for us. Yes, and thank you for sending your Holy Spirit to comfort us. Lord, I thank you that you are there for us in times of trouble. Lord, I pray 
that you would embrace each person listening today. Set our heavy hearts free from all troubles, all burdens, all cares today. You are merciful, God. Lord, ease our troubled minds today. Clear our busy thoughts and protect us from the enemy. You are our strong tower, the rock of our life. And we put our utmost faith and trust in you, for you are the one who never fails. Wrap us in your unconditional love. Shield us from all darkness and implant a bright light within us, Lord, that can touch the lives of others, even in this harsh world cruel world oh god make us instruments of your peace where there is hatred let us so love where there is injury let us be pardoned where there is doubt faith where there is despair hope where there is darkness light and where there is sadness joy oh divine Master, grant that we may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, but to understand, to be or to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive. It is in pardoning that we are pardoned. It is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus for each person person oh lord that they may be a representation of your love today oh lord whatever they are going through whatever the troubles are around them let it not affect them but let them move in love today like never before oh god let them not follow the hatred and all the hatred that's in this world and the evil that's in the world. But let us run to you because you are our fortress. Let us be that light in the darkness. Lord, implant that bright light within us that it's so bright that it will touch the lives of all those that are around us within this harsh, cruel world. Lord, I pray that you would bless your people touch them, deliver them, heal them today in Jesus' mighty name. We pray and believe. Amen and amen. This is Pastor Robert Clancy from Narrow Path Ministries in Perth, Western Australia. It is time to catch the fire of repentance revival as we prepare for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Shalom, shalom, shalom. And if you've liked this utterance today, we encourage you to subscribe to the YouTube channel. You can follow us on Rumble. You can also follow us on Facebook or Instagram. Go to our free website, repentancerevival.com. Precious saints, congratulations to all those people that joined in the three-day fasting program. If you are still going, then I encourage you to continue on strong. If you are yet to join and would like to do it at another date, at a further date, feel free to do so. The program is there for you to follow and to join in and to press in to the Lord and praise the Lord. I feel empowered by the Holy Spirit as we have believed for another Pentecost and I'm believing so much more is about to be released as we, as the Lord tarries and as we prepare for his imminent snatching away, let us be the light in the midst of this dark world. Let us carry that love and be an instrument of his peace like never before. So, from my family to yours. God bless you. We love you. We are praying for you, precious saints. Shalom, shalom, shalom.